Hello everyone. Let's continue our discussion on MOSFETs. In the last couple of lectures, we saw two important concepts. The first one was the concept of strong inversion and the second one was the concept of threshold voltage. So strong inversion or the surface inversion was nothing but under a P-type substrate, there is a small N-type area or N-type channel formation. That was what what uh, that is what was referred to as uh, the strong inversion, and the and the potential at which strong inversion happened, that was called as threshold voltage. So in this video, what we'll be doing is we'll be applying some potential between the source and the body terminal, and see what happens to the threshold voltage. And by the way, there are uh, there are some applications which needs this particular uh, this particular terminal to uh, to be connected to some potential rather than being grounded. So we have some applications. So, so we have to understand wh what is the impact of threshold voltage when we try to connect a potential between source and the body terminal. So let's do that. So let's try to consider two different scenarios over here. So the first one will be the same or the original one that we that we have been uh, studying in the past videos, and the second one will be something like this. So there will be there will be a potential that will be applied between the body and the source. So this will be will be calling it as positive value VSB as some positive potential. So why it's at positive value? So since since if you if you look from this direction, you see there is a if you see the VSB becomes positive. If you look in this direction, the VS the VBS will become negative value. So let's uh, try to be on the same page and call VSB as some positive value. So your source is at positive potential, your body is at negative potential. So one clear observation that we see over here, on one clear thing that is happening over here is. You have this N plus area. You have this P-type substrate, and these form a P-N junction diode. Similar case happens over here as well. You have this P-type substrate. You have this N plus area, and you have a P-N junction diode formation. But there is one important thing to notice over here is that the uh, the terminals of the P-N junction diode over here are grounded. And the terminals of of the P-N junction diode over here are connected to some battery source. So let's say this is the negative terminal of the of the uh, of the P-N junction diode, and it is connected to the positive potential, or it is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, and this is the positive terminal of the P-N junction diode, which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So, th so this particular uh, this particular arrangement reminds of of the classic reverse bias P-N junction diode. So, in case of a reverse bias P-N junction diode, you see the depletion layer width is is much more than than the than the uh, diode which is which is connected to the, connected to the ground because there is an additional reverse bias that is getting applied to the P-N junction diode in this case, whereas in this case the P-N junction diode the terminals of the P-N junction diode were grounded. So that's the difference that you see in this and this case so that is the immediate effect of applying a of applying a, a some potential between the vsb basically the immediate effect that we see of applying a positive value of vsb over here and the second observation is that the depletion region width so if you see the depletion region width over here is far more than the depletion layer width which is present over here and why is it so because once you connect a p-n junction diode in in a in a reverse bias if you you see in the in the junction it gets depleted of its majority carriers for example in this in this case the p-type substrate this area was supposed to be covered with holes with lot of a lot and lot of holes but now because of because of the negative terminal being applied over here negative potential been, being applied over here the all the holes from this particular all the holes from this particular area will get or basically we can we can put it the other way around due to the positive terminal which is present over here it will repel all the holes which are present over here and 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 create a depletion region over here so this area is depleted of its majority carriers even more as compared to this area because of the positive potential that is being applied at the source terminal there are other things that will also happen but this is the first two things that we observe and that we see so the first thing that so the first thing was there was an additional reverse bias that is present in this p-n junction diode and the second thing is that because of this additional p additional reverse bias we see uh, we, we see the increase in the depletion layer width okay so these are the two primary observations that we see just as we connect a positive just as we connect a potential between the source and the body basically vsb as some positive value 
so now what we have to do is we have to we have to increase the gate to source voltage we have to increase the gate to source voltage in both the areas simultaneously and see what happens and see basically find out that particular potential at which the surface inversion happens because that particular potential will be called as threshold voltage so we we have to find out some uh, find out some value for the threshold voltage so let's do that let's try to increase the gate to source voltage over here and over here as well so we are trying to we have pushed the first first layer of the inversion charges in just just below the gate and same thing we did over here so in this case if you increase the vsb voltage if sorry if you increase the gate to source voltage the uh, we saw we saw the formation of the inversion layer over here we saw the formation we, we saw the surface inversion phenomena over here but the same thing will happen over here as well but in a different fashion let's see how so first there will be increase in the depletion layer width in both the cases there will be even more increase in the depletion layer width in both the cases and even more and finally the uh, finally this area and this area are completely depleted of its majority charge carriers which is holes so once that particular once that happens we have the depletion layer width remains constant it it doesn't increases anymore okay so now what you see is now when when you further increase your gate voltage let me take one slide back now now you have to observe this area and you have to observe this area once you increase the gate potential even more you see there is one more layer getting formed over here and the second layer which is getting formed over here is not so fast but but the but, but you see and formation of a layer over here of the inversion layer over here okay so 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 the so the thing that we need to observe over here is we have this we have this particular terminal of the mosfet been connected to the positive potential potential of the battery so as a as a battery just behaves behaves just like a magnet it will try to attract all the opposite charges so what in this case the inversion layer or the or the uh, n type charges that is getting formed over here it gets attracted to the source and hence you see the formation of the uh, hence you see the formation of the negative charges over here it's it, it's at a very it's at a very lower rate compared to compared to this one okay so we have so we have this positive vsb over here and these charges which are getting formed under uh, beneath beneath the gate are getting attracted towards the source terminal and hence the formation of the inversion layer over here which it is is at a slower rate than compared to this area okay so let's see we'll try to increase even more and see this area if you see the right side of the channel has got the the channel is getting formed at the right side of the uh, of the gate but at the left side of at the area which is beneath the gate towards the left side area all these inversion charges are getting attracted towards the source terminal so hence and for and for a surface inversion to happen we form a complete straight channel from source to drain which is not the case over here but which is the case over here it will be happening over here so see again if you see if you see this area the formation of the n channel is very continuous in this case it is not continuous but in this case if you see this left side area of the left side area of the channel it is getting or the left side negative charges gets attracted towards your source terminal so this is the difference of uh, of the channel formation that happens in the presence of vsb and in the absence of vsb so in this case the uh, the surface inversion has already happened over here and if you see this particular area of the p tap substrate has already converted into an n type and the potential at which this phenomena happens is referred to as threshold voltage so this is what we have learned in couple of in the last couple of lectures so let's call that particular threshold voltage as vto so vto will be the gate potential at which you see a surface inversion happens when vsb equal to 0 so we have to yet to reach to a potential reach to a point at which you see similar kind of surface inversion happening over here as well which is not it happened over here so what we'll do is since i'm already running out of time we'll try to continue this discussion in the next video and in the next video we'll also come up with some equations which will say what will be the threshold voltage or what will be the gate voltage in the presence and absence of vsv we'll try to club everything in a single equation and also we'll see how this channel for how this channel gets formed and at what potential you see the surface inversion happen surface inversion has already happened over here at a gate voltage let's say vto 
but it has not yet happened over here so let's try to uh, find out the potential at which the surface inversion happens for this case in the next video thank you